I mean, you can see it sometimes. Sometimes they're tired. I just got done with practice. And, 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 you know, as a player, especially as a young player, you, I mean, it's so much you think about, man, I don't know if I really want to do this, man, I want to go home, and stuff like that. So I know how those guys feel. So I try to, you know, just you know, get them loose and, and just joke a little bit. And I mean, we have fun and, you know, they smile and stuff like that. So, you know, after practice, that's something you do. But as soon as we cross that red line on the field, that maroon line on the field, it's, it's time to go. And uh, and everybody knows that. And then we can, you know, we can have fun after practice, but once we get on the field, they know, you know, if Tyler's got to be in charge, Tyler's going to tell me what to do, I'm doing something wrong, he's going to get on me, he's only trying to make me better, and stuff like that, so I mean, and I tell him, if I'm doing something wrong, y'all tell me the same thing, because, you know, I, I got to be set an example, so if I'm doing something wrong, let me know. The way that ego thing, how, how strong will you have to be now to stand up to a head coach or a coordinator and say, no, this is how it's going to be done, and sometimes just, you know, go to the mat arguing with them. I mean, it's, uh, it's it's difficult at times, but I mean, you gotta you gotta be that leader on the field. And you know, Coach Kennedy he tell me all the time, if it's something that you're 100% think you're right about, it, even if you're wrong, you gotta stand up and be like, hey, I feel like I, I did this right. This is what I was looking at. And then if, you know, if something comes around where it's like. Um, not arguing, but in a sense of, you know, Tyler, you could have did this better if you would have just did this. And I'm like, hey, I'm, I'm looking at this. So uh, we communicate well, and then, I mean, it happens. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, we all have the same goal, so everybody loves each other. Has it been a case over the years just learning how to handle Coach Mullen, uh, how to tune out, how to tune in, what matters? Definitely. You know, sometimes when Coach Mullen gets on to you, it's more of a, a mental aspect. How, how can you react and, um, you know, when he gets on to you? If you make a bad play, that's a bad play, okay? And he might continue to talk about the bad play, or, or you didn't have any juice today, Tyler. Or, you know, what happened with two minutes today? And just stuff like that. You, know, you got to push past that and just continue to go and, and cannot let that affect the rest of practice. I, I, when did you pick up your career? You say, hey, he's not being mad at me. He's testing me. He wants to know how I'll respond. Well, probably I say, you know, year two, I mean, year two, year three, something like that. When you're a freshman and somebody gets on to you, you're like, man, I, I can't believe I did that wrong. Now I'm embarrassed. Everybody's looking at me. I, I ran the wrong route or I threw it to the wrong person or I threw it to double cover and stuff. You feel, you feel like you're so small and, and uh, it's not to embarrass you or anything like that. It's just trying to get the best out of you. Uh, if they didn't say anything to you, then you know they're they're not caring for you or anything like that. They just want you to be a better, better person, better player. All right, talk to me about Dylan Day. We're doing a piece on him. He's, he's an interesting fella. Yeah, Dylan's crazy. Uh, uh, we hang out all the time. And, uh, you know, he, he's, he's in love with these fine things. Yeah. And uh, you know, he, he can tell, tell us, you know, I want to be fine famous. I want to have one vine that everybody is going to like and stuff like that. So he comes with some crazy ideas just off the top of his head. Anywhere we go, he's thinking about something about vine and stuff like that. But, you know, he's a, he's a character. And, uh, you know, he's been a great player for us. And he's got that nasty streak that any decent center has that. You saw JC and you saw these guys. They got to have it. Oh, yeah, definitely. He'll, he'll get on to you if you're doing something wrong with him. Uh, sometimes you can't even believe it's coming out of somebody like Dylan who plays around all the time and stuff like that. But, you know, he'll get out of it. What did you see from yourself. that scrimmage, Tyler? This first scrimmage you all had, what, what did you kind of see and, and things to work on? Well, definitely, you know, a lot of times, you know, and Coach Mullen, he'll tell us, uh, especially for the offense, he'll call stuff that we're not really good at. And then, uh, you know, he'll tell you, in the last scrimmage, we could have ran the ball pretty much every play and, and got yards. Perk, Perk had a great day. I didn't do uh, too well of, you know, in that scrimmage and stuff like that. But then you're going to have days like that. Uh, you just got to focus and, and not try to, you know, make the same mistakes and stuff like that. How encouraging was that to see the run game? Because at times it kind of up and down last year. Yeah, I mean, like I said earlier, if you can run the football, you can win a lot of football games. So, uh, you know, Ladarius is doing really well, and our offense line is doing well too. So, you know, I think that's going to be a big part of our offense this year. You're a 